All right, hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to hook your Pro Controller up to your Windows PC using DS4 Windows. I know it's traditionally used to hook your PlayStation controllers up to your PC, but it also supports both your Pro Controller and your Nintendo Joy-Con controllers as well. So the first thing you got to do is get this plugged in to your Windows PC, you can either connect it via a plug or you can use Bluetooth. There's a plug on the top and if you want to use it with Bluetooth, there's a little button up here next to the plug. Just press and hold on it. I'm actually going to use a screwdriver because it makes it a little bit easier. And you're going to want to press and hold on it until you see these lights at the bottom start to flash. These indicate that it's trying to pair with something, in this case your computer. And then once you have this ready and in pairing mode, you're going to want to pop into your PC's settings and find the Bluetooth and other devices tab. Inside of here, up at the top, you'll find the add Bluetooth or other device button, and that should open up a little panel that'll ask you what you want to add. And from here, you're going to look for a Bluetooth device of some variety, and it should show you all of the discoverable or pairable devices in range. In this case, we want the one labeled Pro Controller, although for some people it might just be listed as a generic wireless controller. Go ahead and click on it, and it should automatically pair. And then you can click on Done. Once you've got your controller hooked up to your PC, the next thing we need to do is we need to download the appropriate drivers. In this case, we're looking for DS4 Windows. If you're going to Google this, you want the one made by Ryochan7, the other one made by j for kings or whatever is out of date and it won't work properly anymore. Once you get here, you're going to click on download. It's going to take you to GitHub, where a lot of developers store their projects to make it easy to download. And you're going to want to download the x64 bit version in a zip. Once you do that, I'm just going to slap it into a folder with better joy. Uh, you might also need to download the .NET framework in order to get this to work. If you don't already have it, I will put a link in the video description so that you can grab it. Just download the runtime, and then you're gonna wanna grab the 64-bit version because most modern computers do in fact run 64 and not 86. Once you've got that all downloaded, we'll just open up the folder where it is stored and I'm going to right click it and I'm going to extract it to a folder of the same name just to keep whoops that's not what I wanted to do we're going to extract it to a folder of the same name just to keep things clean we're going to open it up so let's, let's pop back so once you've got this open you'll see the DS4 Windows program it's got a little and a rainbow logo we're going to go ahead and click on that and it should open the program and the first time you open it, it'll ask you to install. And the first time you run DS4 Windows, you're going to see a little window like this that'll ask you to install the Vigem Bus driver. Go ahead and click on that to install that. That's the last component you should need. And then you can go over here and your controller, once you hit start in the lower right hand corner, make sure it says you've started it and it says stop in the corner to make sure it's running. And then once it's started and everything's going, it should show your controller here in the list. And that means you're good to go. You've got the default key binding set up and you can go out and play whatever game you want. If you want to edit it to change the key bindings, you just click edit and then you can click on whatever button you want to rebind it. Just note that because you're using a pro controller and you're not using a PS4 controller, it might get a little bit confusing when you rebind buttons, but other than that, it should work just fine. The default, the default profile for settings usually works for 90% of people. So once you got it hooked up and you see it plugged in and all that stuff, you should be good to go and you can go on trucking. You can also use Steam as your driver of choice if you prefer. And there's also a couple other ones roaming around out there that you can use instead as well. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get your Pro Controller hooked up to your PC with DS4 Windows in order to use it to play whatever game you want. Until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye!